you know, we're all trying to be good in terms of how we are together. I don't think it's going to be as many people around the table as would normally be the case, but, you know, we'll figure out a way to still have Christmas be special. Mine always about getting the family together. There's something very special about get coming together to celebrate Christmas. So just being together as a family is to me a non-negotiable uh, deal breaker. A tree, a tree. You, it's for me, you gotta have a Christmas tree. Uh, I, so I build a Christmas village every year. Yeah, um, a little miniature village. Um, like that you, <laughs> you, you collect, I've collected them since I was like eight. It's also quite sad to realize that it's not something I started when I was eight years old. I started it when I was 18. <laughs> just constantly spinning Little Drummer Boy. I think that's that's just my, that's my Christmas tradition is just spin that track constantly, never let it stop. We build them and they have like, you know, there's like ice skaters and, oh, it's amazing. It's an obsession. So um, yeah, that, that, that'll be my plan really. And for me, it's Santa Claus. Father Christmas must visit my children, even though they are now 31 and 29 years old. He is still coming down that chimney with presents for them to find at the end of the bed. I think it's now time for pretend Santa. Spoiler alert, Santa Claus is not real. Um, but don't tell the little kids that. If you can't be with friends or family, try and speak to them on the phone. Try and email them, Skype them, Zoom them, anything. Just don't sit by yourself. I need to go to somewhere funny. And I need to be there on Christmas Day. I know I have one Christmas if I have, if I'm on a beach and I have a cocktail and I'm wearing a sun hat, I won. <laughs> Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells.